All right, let's look at the question six. It's a question on the optimization. It's a part of calculus. Okay, so in the description box, I'm gonna leave links for other questions I've answered for this question paper. So go question six. We are given this situation where there's an estimation of T years. So it is estimated that T years from now, from now, the population of a certain species of insects will be this much thousand so it's gonna be pt equal to 20 minus 6 over t thousand okay so right now there's a certain population right so of of my of of my insects over time now my insects now right the their population it's either is an increase uh, or it decrease we are not sure we are not sure we are not sure but something there will be some changes taking place to that population so it's either an increase or is a decrease over time right how so through this equation is a decrease or increase it through this equation 6.1 they want us to determine the population in the first year so from today a year later we want to find out how much is the population size is so for this question we have okay this is 6.1 we have this equation that measures the population size over time okay so for 6.1 they want us to find out with the e population size it is in one year's time so the t in that equation that represents time we are told in that statement okay we are told in the statement t years so the t represents what years so t is equal to one in this in, in this instance for us follow us with the how big is the population a year later so we're just going to substitute one so the population size in one year where does t i substitute one over one so what is the answer the answer is going to be fourteen thousand it's going to be fourteen thousand over the population is 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 is, is quoted is quoted in thousands right it's, it's quoted in thousands so my answer was 14 but i need to add the three zeros after the 14 what about it's thousand next question determine the rate of change in the population in three years time all right like i said this is an optimization problem it's a calculus problem so we want to op okay not optimize but we want the rate of change the rate of change i did explain what a derivative represents derivative a derivative a derivative can be defined in many ways but a rate of change it's one of them rate of change it's a definition of a derivative so see for the rate of change of the population in three years time catch this rate of change in three years time so we need to find a derivative so that we can get the rate of change after finding the rate of change we want to calculate that the rate of change in three years time so every single year according to this problem every single year the rate of change yeah change over time okay so the rate of change is basically how fast is the population growing or how fast is the population decreasing right it's that rate a decreasing eye or a increasing eye so rate of change is basically a derivative so we're going to take the p t equation p of t equation equal to 20 minus 6 over t we're going to differentiate this but we cannot differentiate while t is a denominator on that one so we're going to have a p as a function of t that's going to be 20 minus 6 t raised to exponent minus 
one, right? The, we cannot differentiate an expression where t is still a denominator. So what do we do? We simplify by making t, um, by taking c and putting it on the side of the coefficient and raising it to a negative exponent. Now, this is what t, p prime of t is equal to, we are getting the derivative, la. it's a constant, so we're going to get a zero, and then the derivative for this is going to be a plus 6 t raised to exponent minus 2, that's the derivative, equal to 6 over t squared, I'm putting everything back um, to um, a positive exponent, all right? Now, this is my rate of change. The derivative, the first derivative, it's my rate of change. So I'm going to take this rate of change and substitute 3 into t because we want the rate of change in 3 years' time. So I'm going to say p prime of 3 is equal to 6 over 3 squared is equal to that's going to be 6 divided by 9. The answer is going to be 2 over 3. So this in 3 decimal places will be 0, 0,667 thousand. Thousand. Mm. Okay, yeah, thousand. Why not? It's a thousand. Thousand, but uh, this value doesn't make sense, does it? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. But no more I so I don't see a problem because the question, the, the, the equation, it's p of t equal to something of a thousand. Okay, so or you or, or you can just take this and multiply it by one thousand. When we do that, this intolerability it's a six six seven. It's 667. So this is our answer here. 667. And then 6.3. Does the population increase or decrease yearly? Prove the answer with calculations. All right. Interesting. Uh, all right. This one, it's decreasing. How do I know? I know because of I'm, I'm subtracting from 20. I'm subtracting from 20 but that's not gonna be a good enough explanation all right but I can uh, just by looking at the equation because for the fact that I'm subtracting it means that it's gonna be a decrease it's gonna be a decrease in the population size if I was adding it was gonna be an increase so P um, T let's take the equation as is over t but we can prove what this thing is decreasing by doing the following we can maybe choose um, two subs two consecutive years I can choose maybe the second year and the third year right and substitute and see the value change um, the value change between those two substitutions so Let's calculate the population size in two years' time. Two year. Two years. After two years, what is the population size? It's 2, 20 minus 6 over 2. What is the answer? 3, so that's 17. 17,000. Right? It's 17,000. 17. In three years' time, in three years' time, so that's going to be P of 3, that is what? 20 minus 6 over 3. Answer, that's going to be 2. Wait a minute. 20, 6 over 2. Yes, it's 17. What about 3? You know, 18. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, intuition, I'm being wrong. Um, let's see. 
let's take it up a notch and say four four years why not yeah why not why not let's say four years four years no my intuition was wrong now my intuition was wrong i can see that the values are increasing so it's gonna be 20 minus 6 over 4 let's divide by 4 this time so total would it's 18.5 so that's gonna be 18 thousand five hundred eighteen thousand five hundred interesting so in two years time the population size is is this big in three years time the population size grows to eighteen thousand in four years time it's eighteen thousand five hundred so there's an increase la, not a decrease an increase not a decrease yeah no um the answer I gave initially, it, it came out of my intuition. So, yeah, no, I stand corrected, stand corrected. Uh, and the calculation proved me wrong, okay? So, yes, it, there's an increase, there's an increase. Irrespective of what, he, what sign it, it is, Lapa. So, just make sure what you check, you check before you, <laughs> you start renting like I did. Okay, so 6.4. 6.4 let's hide on my calculations and do the next one 6.4 so 6.4 what will happen to the population in due course what will happen to the population in due course all right so this is actually a hyperbolic function the 20 minus 6 over t this is a hyperbole as a i mean as the t grows bigger meaning as it approaches infinity as it approaches infinity i think i think what we can do now is actually take the limit of p of t as t approaches infinity why am i saying this with 6.4 what will happen to the population in due course so it means that as this cut is harm, as this cut is harm, as this cut is harm, what will happen to the population size? Will it continue to grow exponentially bigger, or will it reach a certain level, or is it aiming for a particular point or up a particular value, um, something like that, right? Our answer lies in that scenario. It's either yeah, in, okay, it's either is approaching value, or it continues to grow infinity. Or it it will get to a point where it just plummets ne? so where does P of T I'm gonna substitute that equation limit of T as it approaches infinity so that's 20 minus 6 over T equal to so taking the limit to infinity my T is a denominator lapa, right so this means that this is gonna be zero right it's gonna be zero so it's gonna be 20 minus what zero so the answer it's 20 thousand it's 20 thousand so as you can see by taking the the inf um, the limit that approaches infinity our thing our equation or our population will approach 20 thousand so it means that the population will increase to 20,000 and it will never go beyond this value of 20,000. So it means that the population size here too will, will always stay below 20,000. Okay, so that concludes our question six, optimization problem. I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like if you did. If you have a question, let's engage in the comment section. Um, yeah. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.